Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Powtoon. Powtoon is a site that creates slideshow videos but uses cartoon images and fun fonts. It's an excellent way to break out of the PowerPoint rut and present lessons in a new way. Powtoon is easy enough for students to use and is a different way for them to create projects and reports. The first thing you need to do to create a Powtoon is to create an account. The basic account is free. You will click the blue Start Now button in the middle of the page, which will take you to the Sign In page. Here, you need to fill out the required information. In order to use your account, you will have to verify your email address through an email that Powtoon will send you. After you have signed up, you will need to log in. The Login button is at the top of the screen and will take you to the Login page where you will enter your email or username and your password. Once you've logged in, you will arrive at your dashboard page. From here, you have several options. You can choose to go to the account page. To do this, you can go up to your username, click on it, and then select account. On your account page, you can choose to upgrade to the paid service. You can also edit your email address or change your password. To return to the dashboard, you just click the word dashboard at the top of the page. Returning to the dashboard gives you several options. Over on the side, there's a yellow tab that says Support. You click on that tab, it will open a pop-up page that lets you email Powtoon support team. Over on the sidebar, you can choose to share your Powtoons through social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. Clicking on the Resources button will give you links to webinars and examples. Clicking on the Get Help button gives you links to tutorials and a place to give feedback. Clicking on the Community button gives you community tips. In the middle of the screen, under the word Dashboard, you can see any Powtoons you have already made. Clicking on the Edit button will give you a chance to edit those Powtoons. To create a new Powtoon, click the Create button in the middle of the screen. This will open the Template screen. The template screen gives you the option to select a pre-made template or you can start from scratch which allows you to pick the style of cartoon you want to use and then create the rest of the Powtoon from scratch. Some of the options are only available in the premium service and they have a little premium banner across this icon. You can also choose to make a, choose a ready-made blank Powtoon which is what I'm going to choose and to do that you just have to click on edit. Now you have a blank Powtoon. Let's talk about the different parts of the Powtoon page. In the middle of the page is the screen that you're currently editing. On the left hand side is the different slides that are in your presentation. At the top of the screen is the menu where you can Open a new Powtoon, save your current Powtoon, and share your Powtoon. There's also the cut, copy, and paste um, buttons as well. On the right hand side is the place where you choose the style of cartoon you want to use. Some of the cartoons are only available through the paid service, but there are plenty of choices in the basic service. Um, at the bottom of the screen is the time editor. Um, each Powtoon uh, slide defaults to about 10 seconds, but here is where you can edit the time. So let's start making a quick Powtoon. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is add some text by clicking the Add Text button at the top of the screen. And doing that opens up a text box. If you double click on it, you can edit the words, but if you click on the pencil icon at the side, um, you can open up a manager where you can also change change the text, the size, the, the font, and the color. And to apply the text um, changes you just hit the word apply. If you click and drag you can move the text around the screen. If you want to add an effect um, what you do is go up to where it says text effects and choose a um, effect from the um, icons down here and it will open up another text box and if you click the pencil you can edit 
the words here and it shows you um, down here what that text will look like um, with the effect and then you can click and drag it around the screen. Now let's add um, some images. So what I'm going to do is click on the second slide on the left hand panel and then I'm going to add a character and I pick the character from the right hand panel and characters don't move um, they're just like, like a regular image and you can click and drag him around the screen and set him down and an animation is something that does move so I'm going to click on an animation and I can click and drag him around the screen as well um, adding slides is pretty simple um, you just click the plus button at the top of the screen to get rid of a slide you can hit the uh, minus button while it's that slide is highlighted so see how it's highlighted and you can hit the minus button there's a couple other uh, things you can add you can add an image from your own personal computer by clicking the image button at the top of the screen here you can also choose to add a sound by clicking on the sound button and it will let you um, record a voiceover or import a voiceover file. You can also import a music track or use one of their um, pre-downloaded uh, music tracks. Adding transitions between slides is pretty simple. If you, you notice over here it says no transition. In order to add a transition you click on the first slide in that transition then go over the right hand side and under the word transitions you can pick a transition icon here and it gives you a little preview of what it looks like um, and now instead of saying no transition it says squeegee the time bar is important because it lets you edit the timing of your slides the red arrow changes where you are in time on the slide the play button will play the show starting from where the red arrow is. To add time to a slide, you hit the plus button. To remove time, you click the minus button. Each time you do, you either add or subtract a second. You can also change the timing of the elements on the slide. If you click on the element, it appears down on the time bar. You can click and drag to change its timing on the slide. You can also change how long it appears by clicking at the end of the bar and moving it back and forth. When your video is done, it's time to publish. Click Share at the top of the screen. You will need to decide if you want your video to be public or private. You can also decide if you want to upload it to another site. Once you've decided, then you hit Next. Here's where you'll choose the resolution. The standard res resolution is free. Then click Next. Here you'll give your video a category, a title, a description, and a tag. Congratulations! Your Powtoon is now available for the public to view. You can share your Powtoon on social media by clicking one of the links over here. This was just a basic overview. There's a lot of different styles, transitions, and other elements of Powtoon to explore. Have fun and be creative.